Hey everyone, welcome to Coffee and Crafting and thank you for dropping by. In today's video, I'm sharing four beautiful spring DIYs using Dollar Tree and thrifted items. I had a few struggles with some of them, but at the end, they turned into beautiful, shabby chic farmhouse decor that I will be using in my home. If you like DIY home projects, thrift makeovers, and easy to make home decor all on the budget, I hope you will consider to subscribe to my channel and join my DIY family. So grab a coffee or your favorite drink and let's start. For this DIY, I have an egg sign and the wall creation flower stickers from the Dollar Tree. And these are so pretty. I picked the light pink flower and I placed it on the bottom part of the egg on an angle. And these are just peel and stick. You could place them on the wall, you could put it on a table, a dresser. These are really nice for $1.25 and you get a lot in one package. I used my knife to remove the excess sticker from the egg. I placed the smaller flowers and leaves along the side of the egg going from the top to the bottom and placed one flower with a long stem at the top. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lori and welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please take a moment to consider and click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified when I upload any new videos. And if you can give me a thumbs up by clicking the like button, this really helps my channel to continue to grow and be recognized. And leave me a comment down below on which DIY you like the most or just say hello. I cut a few pieces of lace and ribbon. I made a new hanger with a piece of ribbon, putting it through the hole, making a loop at the top. I took the other pieces of lace and ribbon and put them through the loop part. I cut a piece of linen fabric and cut the threads from it and added the linen piece with the lace. I wanted the egg to have a solid texture and I think the linen piece was perfect to highlight the lace. And to finish this DIY, I trimmed the lace and the ribbon on the ends and glued a twine flower at the top. I really like how this egg turned out. It's so adorable. It was easy and quick to make. This would look so beautiful in an antique shabby chic oval frame displayed on the wall. I think the big flower was a perfect choice to put at the bottom of the egg and then have the little flowers going up on the side. And I'm so happy I didn't do anything with the background. This could be decorated in so many different colors and flowers and every single one would still look as elegant and beautiful as this one. Let me know in the comments what you think. For this DIY, I have a wood egg from the Dollar Tree. I sanded the edges, they were a little rough, and I stained it with the Early American stain from Memwax. I gave it two coats to give it a darker stain look, and I wiped off the excess. I have a wood house from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to give it two coats of the Early American Stain. When you've lost everything, does it all become for granted with a wedding ring? Oh, there must be more. There must be another way that must be conscious. 
I painted the inside of the house with the white linen chalk paint and I gave it two coats. I have a really cute light blue leaves rub on transfer from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to place it inside the house. I had to cut it into pieces to fit. I'm going to use one of the cottontail bunny transfers from Vintage B Designs and I'll leave a link in the description for you. So I ran into a problem with the transfer. I took the transfer off the sheet originally to line it up on my egg and then I put it back on the sheet just for a moment. Unfortunately, I put it on the wrong side two of them adhesed to the paper and I wasn't able to use them as a transfer unfortunately the worst part these are expensive for me to buy because I live in Canada so I have to pay the duty and the exchange so there really isn't any room for that kind of error but I'm over it and I moved on but I still savaged some of it. So what I did was I cut the bunny out and I used Mod Podge to seal it on the egg. So I did salvage what I could use from the sheet and I covered up as much of the damage on the bunny as I could. I used part of an ear that didn't go with this bunny <laughs> from the other one. And I was able to cover that with some leaves because the ear is different from the ear on this one, if that makes sense. I made it look like the bunny was coming out of the leaves um, as much as I could. And I used whatever parts of the transfer that was still on the transfer paper, I was able to use on this bunny and try to make the best out of it. After everything was done, I brushed another coat of Mod Podge over the entire egg to seal it. I think I did a good job at the end, savaging whatever I could to save the sweet little bunny that I love for this egg. So let me know in the comments what you think. Did I do an okay job? Would you have just trashed that one sheet of transfer or would you have done something different? Let me know in the comments what you think. I glued a tumbling block on the back of the egg and glued the egg inside the house. I cut a piece of linen fabric and stamped Happy Easter on it.
I glued the Happy Easter linen piece on top of the house. And to finish this DIY, I cut a few pieces of lace and tied them together at the top, gluing it on the linen piece. This bunny house turned out so beautiful and I love the rustic farmhouse shabby chic look. Not everything turns out the way we plan, but if you can find a way to fix it, you can actually surprise yourself with something even more wonderful to cherish. Let me know in the comments what you think. For this DIY, I found a bunny at my local thrift store for $2.99. I gave the bunny a fresh coat of the white linen chalk paint. When the bunny dried, I was going to use some antique wax on it, but I love the texture it had with that little hint of gray coming through the white linen chalk paint. I took a piece of pink lace and tied it around the bunny, making a bow. And to finish this quick and easy DIY, I glued two little dark pink flowers on the bow. And that was it for this DIY. I love the simple, elegant look. Sometimes less is more, and it's going to look beautiful on my coffee table. Let me know in the comments what you think. For this DIY, I have a grapevine reef that I'm going to reuse. I painted the reef with white spray paint from Rust-Oleum. I have a bundle of spring flowers from Michaels and lamb's ear from Walmart. I cut the spring flowers from the stem. I'm not going to use glue on the reef. I want to be able to reuse it again in the future and the flowers. I put the lamb's ear through the reef and used a piece of floral wire to secure it in place. I pushed the pink and peachy color flowers through the reef and these held really good without glue. I placed the other lamb's ear on the opposite way and secured it with the floral wire. You know that you're the and I put the cream color flowers through the reef like the pink flowers. It's always good to balance the embellishments so it's the same and not too much on one side versus the other. I bought this beautiful Hello Spring ribbon from Martins in Bangor, Maine 
last year for $3.79 for 50 yards. What a great deal. I cut four long pieces and glued the ends together. And this is where another disaster happened. I am not good at making bows, but this is how I made it this time. I crisscrossed the ribbon and bundled the ribbon together in the center, wrapping the floral wire around the center tightly to secure it. I fluffed the bow So I'm looking at it thinking, what a mess. Why am I going to do with this? So I cut four small pieces, glued the ends together, placed them on top of each other, and wrapped a floral wire in the center, securing them together. I fluffed the bow and I added the smaller one to the bigger piece. So at this point, it didn't look like a bow at all. I wasn't giving up on this. I like a good challenge. <laughs> so I fluffed and twisted the ribbon, tried to form it into a bow. So I had to move on and I figured I'll fix it when I put it on the reef. I cut another piece of the ribbon to make a tail and I glued it onto the other piece. And I used a piece of floral wire and attached it in the center of the flowers on the reef. And Here's the fun part. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. I attached the bow to the reef. I fluffed and twisted the ribbon into place until I got it where I liked it enough to hang on my door. <laughs> oh my. I ducktailed the ends on the tail. It's not a perfect bow, but it does look nice on the door. I decided at the end to add a flower and some baby breath. I also added a smaller tail. And I think it's beautiful. Crafting is supposed to be fun. Learning can be challenging. But walking away from something not going the way you want it doesn't resolve the problem. It should bring out creativeness that you have to make something unique and beautiful from something that looks terrible and ugly. And that's exactly why I did I hope I've inspired you today with some new ideas for your spring decor this year. Just remember, the imperfect is perfect. I want to thank everyone who joined me today, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. So until then, have a beautiful day, and bye for now. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers